Welcome to CNET Top 5, where each time we meet, we count down another hot CNET list. I'm Tom Merritt. Everybody thought that con ficker worm might do something nasty on April 1st. It didn't. But Top 5 Quietest Viruses is no fun. So we turn to the London Times and McAfee, who teamed up to list the top five deadliest viruses. Let's count them down. At number five, NIMDA from back in October 2004. What a clever virus. It could be in a web page, an instant message, or an email. Sometimes you didn't even have to open an attachment to get it. It is estimated that no business escaped its infectious charms. Coming in at number four, the Bagel and Netsky viruses. These two pals came by mail in 2004 and took control of your machine, but the cool part was they tried to disable each other. It was a battle of malicious software, and your PC was the battlefield. Up to number three, the storm worm. It arrived like a little Christmas present in December 2006 and still really hasn't left. While it's entertaining you with a video, it turns your machine into a zombie member of one of the largest botnets ever. Sliding in at number two, the slammer, the fastest virus ever. It launched January 25, 2003 and infected 75,000 machines in 30 minutes. Once you were infected, your machine began reaching out to touch and infect other machines. Its speed ground a lot of big businesses right to a halt. Before we get to number one, a question. Which virus do global risk specialists MI2G estimate caused $38.5 billion in damage? It's not on this list because a lot of analysts think that MI2G was a bit bullish with their prediction. Be one of the first 10 people to get the answer right by replying to our blog post at blog.cnettv.com and you could win this throwback CNET fleece. It'll keep you warm if you get a virus. All right, let's get to our number one, the deadliest virus ever. And number one, it's I love you. No, no, I mean the virus called. I love you. Also known as Love Letter, it broke hearts around the world in May 2000 by asking folks to kindly check the attached love letter coming from me, and then hijacked your email program and sent itself to everyone in your address book. And you were left cold, alone, and ashamed. Well, that's it for this edition of CNET Top 5. Don't forget to look for our blog post about this top five at blog.cnettv.com. Answer our question for a chance to win the fleece. I'm Tom Merritt. See you next time. Hi, I'm Molly Wood, host of the CNET Mailbag Show. It's the show where we read all of your email from the ridiculous to the sublime, and we especially like the hater mail. Really. See it in high def at cnet.com slash mailbag.